Hilland is a pokey little town north of Bathurst Street with history. It has attracted many prominent artists throughout the ages. It was a mining town that peaked in the 1850s to the 1870s during the gold rush. In its heyday, it had an enormous population of 8,000. With two newspapers, five banks, eight churches and... 28 pubs! Woohoo! Go Helen! That beats Bathurst with a population of over 40,000 and having only 14 pubs. Geez, Bathurst, you better step up. By 1945, the gold rush in Helen had practically died. However, the artist boom had by now only just started. In the 1940s, prominent artists such as Russell Drysdale, who, by the way, art teachers are always, always going on about, and Donald Friend, sorry Donald, I haven't heard of you before, visited Helen. This was the beginning of an endless stream of artists wanting to paint, sketch, and photograph the isolated Hilland landscape in all its glory. In doing this, the evolution of the Hilland landscape was documented in each and every artwork. Starting with Donald Friend's <laughs> artwork, Hilland Landscape in 1951, depicting a mining landscape from the peak of the gold rush with a big fat hole in the foreground, houses, houses, more houses, and what looks like, with no surprises, a pub in the mid-ground and the rolling hills in the background. <laughs> well, of course, it wouldn't be Helen without hills, would it? Second on our timeline, Frederick Smith's artwork, or more correctly, photograph, Miners Cottage in 1987, depicting yet another house, albeit a spooky, derelict, dead miner's house. This is contrast to the prosperous atmosphere of our old mate Donald's work shown previously. It shows the evolution of a prosperous mining town into a ghost town. Third on our Hilland timeline, Annika Silver's Donald's sign. Donald seems to be popping up everywhere. Drysdale, where are you? What happened? Which depicts, yet again, another pub. <coughs> now stepping away from pubs, an artwork by Nicole Welch, Illumination No. 2, 2012. Hilland is depicted in an elegant fashion, but still with ties to the town's history with the chandelier representing the intrusion of Europeans into the untouched landscape of Australia. Since Nicole was 14, she aspired to be an artist and never imagined her art would be in the Bathurst collection. Now, her art has become a part of Hillan's history and Bathurst as well, adding to the timeline of creativity. You can add to this story as well by creating and making your own art. One day you too could make history with art. Thank you, Generation Art, for giving us this wonderful opportunity in displaying this video in front of all you people. And getting embarrassed. <laughs> I won.